Need to record videos for your online classes? I'm sharing with you the best free program so you can easily and quickly record your video content. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any more of my videos in the future about online education. I've helped educators all over the world transition to online teaching, and I'm so excited to help you end your frustration with recording video content for your class. Let's dive right into the very first one, which is Zoom. Now again, this program is free, and and you get about up to 45 minutes as of right now when I'm recording this for a free account. You can easily set that up, but I'm sure most of you already have kind of dabbled with Zoom a bit. There's a couple of reasons why I really like Zoom. One, it is free to use if you, even if you don't already have an account with your institution or for your own private studio if you teach online classes or do online coachings. So if you don't already have a Zoom account, you can quickly and easily set it up here. Just go to zoom.com. But I'm sure most of you already have an account with Zoom. If you don't, just set one up really quickly. It's really easy and you can do up to 45 minutes a session for free, which is fantastic and really all you need to record a lot of your content. So what I like to do is I just jump on and I just use my personal meeting account and I just hit start and I'm just opening up a regular Zoom session. So, hi. <laughs> Here we are in a regular Zoom um, session. So what we're gonna do is just pretend like we're jumping on a Zoom call, like normal. At the bottom, you're going to wanna hit record. So see where that button says record at the very bottom? You're going to wanna hit record. Now once you hit record, we're gonna record on the computer, it'll just save it to your desktop, or you could also record it to your cloud if you'd like to. I'm just gonna hit record on the computer. I find that's a little bit easier and faster when I'm doing this, because again, we are saving time. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna hit record recording in progress. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> All right, so now it's recording what's ever on my screen. So for example, say I wanted to send a video message to my students and I wanted to say, hey everyone, I can't wait for you to be here. I'm excited to talk to you about what we're doing next week in class. Or maybe it's a, a, an update for your students or maybe it's you know a lecture or a lesson and you have up to 45 minutes or so, 40, 45 minutes for free you could just sit here and record that for them. Whenever you're done, you can hit stop. But here's another little trick if you want to, you could also pull up your slides, you could share your screen with them, um, just like you would normally. So if you wanted to share your screen, you could do that as well, and pick your slides, and you can all do this all in one space. So there's, I'm sharing my screen, you'll see them on the top right hand corner, and that's they would see what's ever on my screen. I'm gonna hit stop sharing and now I'm going to hit stop recording once I hit the stop button recording stopped <laughs> thank you so kind that's going to go straight to my desktop and then after I go it goes to my desktop I can then go ahead and just upload it to wherever I need to or send it and again you get up to I think 40 45 minutes with a free account if you have a subscription it's really easy to do this it goes to your desktop and then you can send it to them so that's number one using zoom the next program that you can use that is free, now I say free because it comes on most Macs and does come on PCs as well, this is QuickTime. I love using QuickTime. I used to use it all the time for recording uh, different types of video content because it's so fast and so easy and it comes with most laptop and desktop devices. So QuickTime, this is how you can see if you have it. Go into your applications in your computer and then mine is under Q for QuickTime. And you'll see it says QuickTime Player right here. After you click QuickTime Player, just double click on that, let's open it up. Now after you open it up, you are going to notice that it doesn't open up a big program. This one can be a little bit tricky. And I think that's why a lot of people don't understand how to use it. So let me, let me show you some tricks here. After you open up, you're gonna notice on my screen that there's no program opening up. It's literally just looks like my documents. But here's the tricky part go up to the top left hand corner of your screen and it's going to say file my screen is a bit cut off right now so you can't really see it but at the very top um, left hand corner it says quicktime or it says file when i click the word file the file tab at the very top you can scroll down and you can see new movie recording new audio recording or new screen recording so let's say you wanted to record just a movie recording. You just wanted to record yourself talking to your students. Click new movie recording. After you do that, you're gonna notice, hello. <laughs> Again, it opens up another video box that I can record. 
If you go down to the center here where the red button is, when you're ready to hit record, you can hit that and it'll record. But let's go to this little link as well. You can choose a microphone. So the microphone that I'm using right now, I could use that one instead. Now I have my fancy mic on, high quality. You could switch that to maximum if you wanted to, and you could switch cameras if you have other ones that you have plugged in as well. Then all you have to do is hit record. And now I'm recording what is ever on my screen and I could send a great little message to my students quickly and, and just upload it the same thing. When I'm done, I'll hit stop. And again, you can hit it back and see what it looks like. And now I'm recording what is ever on my screen. And I, perfect. And then all you do at the end is I just clicked save or command um, S on my desktop. And then I'm gonna export it as, you'd put the title in here and you could tag it if you wanted to. Um, and then where, do you want it desktop to your downloads, wherever you want? I would just put it on my desktop and then I would click save and now it's going to immediately be on my desktop and I can share that with my students. Um, just with a, a dot move file. So you do have some other options with QuickTime up here. If you go back to the very, very, very top left hand corner where it says file and click on there, you also have an audio recording. So if you wanted to, you could just do an audio recording, simply save it to your desktop quick and easy. Or what I like to do quite often is the new screen recording. If we click on new screen recording, it's going to allow you to record wherever you want on your screen. Now you can do this with Zoom too, but sometimes I just find it easier to just hit record right here in QuickTime versus going into Zoom. But you could record just a section of your screen. Say you have um, some slides pulled up and you only want them to see the section of the slide that you kind of are focused on because you have maybe notes or other things on the side. You could just pick a section here and you have a bunch of different options down here at the bottom where you can capture certain certain spots, record entire screen. Um, you have other options down here as well for microphones and timers and all that jazz. You can really dig deep into this one, but it's just such a it's just such a quick and easy program to use if you have it on your computer already. So that's QuickTime. Let me know what program is your favorite to record videos for your online classes or for any type of video content that you need. Let me know down in the comments below what program you are using right now that's your fave. Moving on to the next free program that I love to use for video content, I use this one all the time and I do not pay for the upgrade just yet because I haven't really found a need for it. It's called Loom. Loom is amazing and so underutilized, I feel like, for quick videos. Now, grab the free one. Um, you can go to loom.com and you can download it here. I download it for Google, the Google Chrome extension. I love. I have Google Chrome, I love it, but it depends on what what fits your needs, what suits your needs for the computer or laptop or, or device that you're using. So here it is if you just wanna take a look and download it and find the best platform for you. But what I will tell you is I use the Chrome version. If you take a look up here on the top right hand corner of my screen, you're gonna see that I have this Loom extension uh, built into my, my, my Google Chrome extensions. Um, right here it is. I love it and here is why. Let's say I wanna send a little quick video for my students and I wanna show them something that I'm talking to and referring about inside my online course. So for example, here is my YouTube for Artists and Educators course that I host. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll put a link below if you wanna check it out. Maybe if, it, if you're interested in YouTube, might be something helpful for you. It's kind of a great just guide step-by-step. Step. It's the guide that I wish I had when I started my YouTube channel. But let's say I wanna screen record this for my students and I wanna show them something, but I also want them to see my face. I can go up to Loom. I can click my Loom extension. So here you are in Loom. There are a couple of different options, but notice that at the bottom left-hand corner, hi, you can already see my little bubble. You can record just screen only if you wanted to just send them a video recording of a screen, camera only if you just want them to record your face, again, what we've done in the past, or both. I do both most of the time and I'm gonna hit start record, and then I'm gonna hit enter full screen, and then I'm gonna click share. And then it's gonna count me down, and then automatically you're going to be able to see yourself and your screen. And I can record and say, hey, I wanna to talk to you about the class and what we're doing right now. Don't forget to pop over and make sure that you watch the introduction first, here's the video for the introduction, and then do XX and ZY, whatever it is. Just a great little way to kind of get them get a video message for them. Now you do only have five minutes with a free version and you get, I believe, up to 25 videos. Let me hit stop. Whenever you're done, you can hit the check mark. Don't hit the X, that stops it if you wanna delete it. 
You can also pause it right here and go back to something, but click the check mark and that will stop it and it's gonna record right here for you. You can also quickly edit it if you want to, add a call to action, add a thumbnail image. I bypass all of that honestly and I literally just call it a day and say that's good. You can click share it right here with somebody and you can send it to them. What I do is I click the embed code and I embed it into whatever I need for that day, especially in my Canvas courses, I just embed the video, or you also can download it if you'd like to as well. Click the download button, it will download to your desktop. This is just a really great way for you to get many, many video clips to them. Again, there are certain limitations, but if you're interested in, in um, paying for a product, you might wanna look for that one. But again, great for just five minute little video clips. If you need more help with filming video content, be sure to check out this video next on how to be more confident on camera. And as well, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click that like button if it was helpful for you, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any more of my videos in the future all about online education. I'll see you in the next one.